Plum and welcome to this video where I'm going to look how to use it images inside the AI generated art. We're going to use it, uh, look where to use it, how to use it, why you want to use it in a way we can using and we'll look to across different um, platforms and algorithms. We're going with a mid journey. We're going with a DALI stuff. We're going with the art breathers. We're going with a dream studio, night cafe. They all provide different plus and minuses and we'll look on this, see which one is work better for you in a specific project. So let's go ahead. We'll start with a uh, mid journey and mid journey. It's a great representation of disk diffusion algorithm. Um, but I suspect the new test and other things, it's looked to be more, it's going towards stable diffusion. And uh, this is a, it's no big kind of, you know, change or anything. It's just algorithm, how the processing. And if you're more interested about how the processing algorithms, how this work, I will recommend to check my other videos where I'm going through all the cycles, compare them and other things. So I have multiple videos. I'll post that link to them below or in the, um, to the playlist on the top. So you can just go ahead, click there and view if you're interested. I will refer some of these techniques, but if you are more in depth, I highly, highly recommend to go check for you check those videos. By the way, all images that I'm using right here, these images I took by myself in a studio and I have a full uh, model release on all of these images. And if you're interested how I create these images as well, I'm a professional photographer for um, 30 something years. I don't know for a very long time. I also have it videos for those who are interested about this, how to set up lighting, how to take picture, how post process and so on. But just let you know, the images is fully legally used by me after rise. And reasons why I bring this authorization, and everything, because for example, if we're going to use it with a DALI, they recently announced that you can use it images, but you cannot upload images without the contents. You cannot, uh, you must upload have a full rights to this and do not create images of public figures. Uh, that is very interesting because DALI is only one platform who put some of those restrictions. Other ones, they do have it, but uh, people still creating some lot of different images of public figures. And by the way, um, do not create public figures. There are public figures. You can create uh, comics about this. You can use the photos because they are public figures. What they should specify here, not public figures, but more celebrities because celebrities faces most time is copyrighted. It's how they make money. Like actors, they make money by their faces. So instead public figures, they should set here celebrities figures because you are legally can use it images of the president of other ones of public figures for their comics, for the parodies, for wherever you want it. Okay. So let's start it. We start with the mid journey and mid journey at the discord based platform and they're utilizing disco diffusion algorithm. However, I highly suspect that the new test type, they're actually kind of playing with a stable diffusion stuff, but what we're going to do look on a um, the disco diffusion type on a, what is released at this time. So here's a, because it's a discord platform, you need actually reference to the images and you can reference images few ways. If you go to user manual on this, they actually have a very good if how you can copy past paste link and you can have a different link on the website. However, I found out when I did, it's kind of very, um, Flicky sometimes you may connect, it may say it's cannot find and so on. So I've found the best way to do with images is when you're going on the Discord, click on a plus, click upload the file. Okay, and from this point, we're going to select the file we wanted, click open to upload. It will take a few seconds for the image to upload on our Discord. It's not yet done when it's up there, press enter. When you press enter, you can see processing and now it's here. So to reference, we actually need image address. And one thing, if you just right click on an image and says copy message link, it won't be, it will be incorrect because it's a message link. It's not image link. To get image link, you need to click on the image itself, right click, it says copy image address. It's what we needed. So after this, we can go to type imagine, it's start. And after this, we can reference up to two images. 
for the normal and just one image if we're in a test mode to this image to process. So let's go ahead, we'll just copy paste one image and press enter, start processing. As it processing, I'll let you know ahead that is, um, we don't specify rate show, so it will square out as we'll crop that image or based on this, okay? Um, we don't have it, any additional param that we'll look in a second. But just keep it in mind if you want same ratio be sure you specify and because it is in portrait mode we'll need specified ratio about two to three i think it's what we're going to do um one thing even we just type only image you'll notice right here ai recognize this image and base it next uh, whatever it's creating on this image and then this point we can jump to our algorithm then i'm going to show you what's happening here whatever image is loaded if you are familiar how it's work or not, again, please go watch this videos. We have a text prompt and it's generated. AI will generate it random Perl and noise from Perl noise. It's have it several steps till it's creating kind of very blurry image. they your initial. So when you load image, you actually skip that element when it's creating the Perl and noise and you actually going to um, level where you already kind of predefined image. So you have a step. How clear this image is in many cases, you can specify by weight of this image. It was how in the fluent. So it's how many steps in some cases. Think about this. You're skipping this place where it's a random generated image and you're just going inside this already predefined image because of that, that will affect what is next processing. Again, that is a simplification of the process. So let's go back to our mid journey and you can see right here, it does recognize it's a female. It does have some similar faces, but it's not necessarily what we wanted. What are we going to do with this? Um, let me go switch. I'm right now in relaxed mode. I'm going to switch to my fast mode. That will allow me to process a little bit faster for this video. And we're going again, imagine we'll go take our image that we reference right now. Notice right here, we have it width and height. We actually can copy and use this if we need it. But next, what I want to do, I want to specify about style. So I can say I want Rembrandt's lighting. Okay. And you can post or a Picasso, wherever you want it. We next, um, now I want to add specific parameters for this case. And I want to do AR, it's a rate show. And we'll go two by three. This is our portrait mode. And next is very important. It's image weight or IW. It's that how much influence by default image weight or influence or how clear what steps it will be on this area right here, how clear it will be this area. Then and we need to specify what image weight we wanted. And by default, it's 0 0.2. So 0 0.25 by default. But if we want higher, we want to put it one. And usually it's what I do. I want a very strong influence of my image on this art. So I put it image weight one. After this, you can specify, by the way, you can even type like 10,000 doesn't matter. It will be clipping at one. So it's going to give you error when we're done with this. Let's go ahead and press enter and it will start processing. Now, as it's processing, let's preview what we have before. And you can see we actually have a somewhat similar face. It's a does recognize, but because we just applied it um, does not necessarily pick up very well. I think the nuance that we're going, we have a better result because we are specify weight. It's how much we want to influence on this. And we want to work with um, also lighting on this case. Okay, um, as is working right now, going try to always create stuff. Uh, let me keep give it this remember this is actual recognize that is a female it's a portrait and everything that is very beneficial to us because i don't need to specify anything i don't need to put it female portrait uh close up or whatever all these details victorian or rembrandt style i don't need it i just says i want this lighting look at it apply lighting but it does recognize this portrait why it benefit us because I don't need to describe some elements now if I have it my reference image. Example, let's go right here. We'll go upload file. Let's upload it with the two kids. Okay. And this is, if you notice, it's an image was created 
with a Adam's family kind of Halloweenish thing with the two kids. So two people. Now what I'm going to do, copy image address. Okay, we'll go right here. We'll go imagine. Uh, and we'll go on reference. Remember, first two, you can reference to your image, reference to image that we have it. And next, I want to type just Halloween Adam's family or whatever you want to do. But in this case, I don't need to specify I want two kids on my image. I already have it in image that says, hey, the two portraits, two full body of kids is in image. And let's go next. We're going to AR. I want two by three and I want my image weight set to one. Okay. Right here, I did not specify how many people. Remember, this is still be random generated. So it, if it does not come up what you wanted first time, you can also try kind of play around this. What it does, it's creating now first this image and it's try access kind of base it on this. Let's see what's come up. Okay, and it's as already rendering, I can tell AI try, remember this is AI try to play this guessing game. Yes, it's like look on a cloud and says what I see there. So in its trial is kind of, but you can see already it is more than one person right here actually one girl but right here we have a kid staying and holding hands we have it already a reference we have it right here different we have it also adam family because i type it in we have it uh, whatever not adam family was butler or some other ones so it does going this of course if you don't like it we can re-render again we can go and let's upscale one image here and just for fun you know what let me go and upscale some of this um i'll go upscale this one by the way if you look on a face this is another thing i like it the face expression lips eyes and other thing it will be very close what we have on portraits and i noticed this before so if you look i done some tests before and we'll go over some of this test you can see right here what i done without rembrandt i just picasso style example but if you look on an image of the person okay and expression right here on the face it's actually keeping very close which is big benefit so it's meaning i can very close to the image of the photos it can create it and meaning you can create more interesting stylizations with a uh, mid journey in this case and you can see also right here this is a picasso style this is just a simple adjustment but again it was test for without lines I even type underwater flowers, which is add interesting effect to this. But you can see it is same expression, eyes, mouth and everything. So it's actually very good expressive um, how AI was keeping this. OK, let's go down below, see what we have at this point. Oh, this one come up even better. So we have it like two kids standing again. I did not specify. I did not tell I want two kids and the the AI reference to the photo and based on that, what I uploaded, created, and this is a big, big plus. It saved a lot of time for me. If I find the photo that is have it in properly, somewhat look, composition, amount of people, I can upload it. And that is safe to try figure out this text string, what I need to use it. So it's a big, big benefit in a processing how I want to do it. Okay, and right here we're still processing. Let's see, this is image is processed. And it's kind of an interesting Halloween theme. We can use it this way. Okay, there you go. This is our portraits with a processing and Rembrandt lighting or a style and other things. So this is one way to use, yes, to reference how many people I wanted, what the posing um, and all these other elements. But beside that, let's see, we can reference other ways. So for example, we'll go to upload another file here and I'm going to upload a photo from um, cosplay photo shoot and Among Us, I think it's a from game. I don't know how many of you actually play this game online not, but this is cosplay Among Us. And let's look right here. You can see portrait will go ahead and copy image for this. And let's go type imagine and uh, we'll pass it image. And you know what, just for fun, future ristic comma retro will go this way notice i don't specify anything i don't specify space man and it's already in the image why i should do this okay let's go two three 
and again image weight one and let's render see what to come up right now okay so it's done and by the way this is portrait before but look right here we have an interesting space theme actually it's, and uh from my how say it's all random look from previous experience if we look right here you can see it's actually created the spaceman and this style one thing i want you to look at the coloring so because we have it all these different colors orange and other things it's actually red type of the colors and using them so it does create it the spaceman you can see it's kind of similar but if we of course if when i created my um futuristic retro it tried to create in this retro style at spaceman and i'm sure if we have it different variations we can have it the spaceman in our scenery based on this resolution but beside retro we already know this that can read how it pause and all the stuff it can use it it can read colors and this is bring us to next level so example if i want to create some specific landscape but i want with my colors i want reference colors we don't necessarily need have it the specific the image so i can just go ahead and create like this image just blob of the colors okay i'll just put it there and next what i need to do inside here let's go to upload another file and i'll just take my gradients okay i'll go upload the gradients here next let's go ahead open again we'll copy image address and i want to imagine this we'll go space and what we have it landscape yes landscape comma no. ramic hills flowers trees um soft lighting okay uh what else we want to do golden hour that one always golden hour actually always work very well so tree flowers soft lighting we can have it um light clouds okay we can describe or what we wanted photo realistic okay high details and so on you can put it most up but i'm kind of describing i don't set any colors anything so i just says okay this is what i want to see here and we're going to three by two we'll go with panoramic if you want a white screen we can go 16 by 9 this is what usually on the animations if you want to do and image weight and let's go image weight one again i want quite a bit influence you don't need to if you don't want it but we'll do this way um additional options we could actually add like a lens type 35 millimeters and so on and this is um all this text string again it's do by the references but if you're interested check again my videos before where i gone over some of those text strings explain how they work how the weight work on the strings and other things okay right here you can see it start processing okay and our image is done let's click and look on this we have the beautiful same colors that we wanted of course we can play more with the strings instead maybe fluffy or flowers we can play around but it will be going this way so it's let's let's do one thing just to be sure it's actual work as i attend i have right here darker gradients look on this so we have a darker image more different gradients we'll go with different coloring again let's click on this right click copy image address we'll go to imagine take our reference image and we'll say you know what actually i'm just going right here i'm just go copy this line right here and we'll just go and pasting okay uh, let's go delete what we have it paste and we'll just see it how it will perform by the color reference that we're using but it is you cannot say already say oh, most of the colors that we're using it's reference to what image we're using by the way some of this actually fluffiness where we see this one it's because some kind of this roundness in our image so it's tried to reference not just just the colors it tried to reference some of the shapes um we could cry, create just like very noisy shapes and it will does a little bit different job for us but overall you can see it is 
very beautifully reference to the colors that we have before okay and right here you can see how it's already i can say very solid colors look how darker clouds because reference to the darker blue more saturated red reference to our red here we we'll probably find some purple and dark greener so that definitely is different this is more pastel colors and some is a little bit darker okay till it does this let's go jump now we'll come back to see our result i don't want to waste the time but we're going inside and now um dali and to tell you true the new updates with faces is kind of weird how it's work and reason why i'm saying weird let's go right here and you can say upload images we're going to upload our image and i'm going to upload the portrait notice the portraits it's not a square so when i go open inside the lee it says hey let's crop the image i don't necessarily like to crop it but keep in mind whatever you prefer image you want to have at least square image because most of the application will do require you kind of square so i'm right here we'll go ahead and crop and we could skip cropping but trust me the effect kind of will start to add on this so if we're going at this point we can click generate variations and We'll notice what it does so it, it does recognize face here and it does will generate some um effect till it does this let's go back inside and we'll look right there you can see add some deeper red some blue so it does effect on the colors which is nice um the golden hour by the way right here golden hour does effect we can remove it in this okay uh we maybe come back i will do another video about mid journey with a little bit more in details with image how to do right here we're going over um, images influence and how we can use it okay now back to our dali and look at what we have it our variations okay with a face as we've done before and we can go look okay uh nightmarish but okay i did not specify any string so it just made variations based on this image which is kind of nice of course when you work with image the huge benefit with a dali what you can do if you're going to edit mode you can actually go ahead and extend okay oops i don't want to upload right now sorry i need to go to uh frames so you can extend like for example we can go add site here and let's go tie because this is a barocco kind of time okay we'll go generate so we can do this we can paint in paint out this is actually big big uh, plus with a dali and i have another video where i was showing how i uploaded image and have it for the set extensions like flowers and other stuff and you can see right here look on this it's a beautiful extension we can actually <laughs> there's a very clever it extend actually chair for us well another angry person we don't want it but i think this one will work good so we'll go accept this and we now can go and extend in another direction okay let's go ahead generate this and this is a big benefit of the dali so we can have it now wide range we can have it our portrait we can extend it we do lose some of the digitalizations and you can see it does make kind of oh we have some person there now we don't want oh, flowers there you go this is what we wanted and actually i like this one flowers best again and there you go you can see we created our image we extend it we can extend down below and the other ways but this is a big plus with dali when we're uploading images we can work not necessarily work on the image itself but if you don't if you want just modify remember you also have it mask and we can mask around the original image and work that way as well okay so this is with dali uh, let me go right here and image generated we're done we can go ahead save our image Let's go back to our preview by the way you can always come back to your image there will be a pop-up on the top now or you can go to my collection which is nice dali uploaded and you can see all this variation so you don't need just uh, worried about hey um i just have only one variation so you have it all variations available and you can after going inside photoshop and for example add there at this place and this is our frames but you will need it kind of have your base and so on it's just additional work to do okay let's go back to um dali and other things what is interesting let's go i'll show you 
So porch is okay. Let's go see if I can upload kids. And actually, you already probably saw you can. So we um, let's go skip cropping on this case. And we'll just go to um, select OK. And uh, let's, you know, what? let's extend. We can actually extend the image, I think, a little bit this way. Generate. Adam's family. So then we can create and generate and so on. It is, um, will work OK in this case. We'll have some little bit problems because we'll need extend elements, but you can notice we um, can play with canvases a little bit better. And of course, the Adams family. Now it is like on this. It is not necessarily does not work. I don't like how it does this way. It's worked better with the screen. But here's the biggest problem that I found with Dali. So photos was okay. What if I just select? this image and no face nothing okay it's a cosplay i have it full rights everything to use it so we'll crop this image okay and let's go it says generate variations so i want generate variations like before from this image and uh, let's see what's happening oh look on this one no our policy we cannot use it you cannot use it. why this is what I don't get it why I cannot use this image. Okay, it is space and just let you know that space actually helmet and everything was purchased in just the store. Okay, it's not prompt. There's something they need to rework in their algorithm. It's maybe it's not even face. I don't know. This is just a helmet person. And uh, I think they need to rework a little bit better what they do with the policy and everything. But currently just let you know it sometimes may pop up with this. And again, if you with policy, I have it contents, I have it full rights, and I don't think the helmet it is public figure. Okay, are we in trouble if it is? Okay, so this is that one. Let's go right now to Art Breeder, and just let you know, Art Breeder currently it's kind of older interface. You can always switch and go with live beta, which I prefer better. It's have it new elements and all stuff, but we will keeping with old because that is what traditional we have it. So with our breather, what we need to do first is going inside the slicer and click on upload. And here we need upload. So you can upload portraits and landscapes. I already did upload some of the portraits. If we go and check here, you can see we have all these portraits and other stuff was already uploaded. So we're going to use some of this same as on the landscape. I have some color uploaded so we can verify this. Art breather, it's a little bit different type of animals and it is working with a somewhat blending. It's a jeep. It's a little bit different algorithm to utilize it. I'll show you after, but to create with this, let's go ahead and we'll just let's say we'll go to create portrait. And as a portrait right here on top was a parent. We actually need to go ahead, click parent, go to upload it and select our parent. And there's we have it variations based on this. OK, we can add additional and of course, based how the face and everything. The fun part is playing with these options. And this is almost if you work before with Photoshop liquify tools on the portraits, it's kind of the same only on the steroids. So we can go ahead right here, see if we want to head Put it on this. Nope, we don't want it. Let's go back. Um, what I want to do, we don't want to care about glasses, makeup, earrings. We don't care about this. Oh, yeah, let's add a facial hair. Every it's a just dream for every girl to have a facial hair, nice, beautiful beard. Okay, we'll go with the um, dark eyes, blue eyes. Let's go blue eyes. But you can see we can modify it. And problem is, it is a feel to me, it is utilizing kind of blending with other things. So it does not necessarily uh, perform as well. OK, open mouth wise. Uh, let's go this and let make a little bit open. We have it also color race. And this is actually I do like because many of the like me journey and other ones, you need to specify some race. But for some reason, it's all size you do any portraits, it's become a white person as a standard. OK. And uh, I wish they had even more variations and random creations.
and right here because it is kind of like England Queen we need to have it like almost translucent pale white okay and gender we can go more to the girlishy look oh look our beard is gone there you go let's go I won't keep it the beard on there you go that's a little bit better age uh, should we go with younger older yeah let leave it more older and look right now and now I need to pop up back my facial hair a little bit higher there you go I think that one is like perfect okay when we specified we created one image that we save it and we can also work from this so on but this is how practically we can use an image as um, for our portraits Okay, let's go now to back and we're going here. We'll go to create landscape. Okay, let's go select our pattern. And again, we'll go to upload. We'll select our colors. And you can see it does creating right there. Apply some colors, some mountains. But we we'll can modify this so we can put it a little bit more on the river. Let's add a C tree architecture, maybe uh, less architecture, more mountain. But you can play around and you can see as you adding, it does create it and it's utilize again those colors as we did before. So it is uh, basic, some R, but if you notice right here, look, the green on the top, green on the side, blue on this side, it is feel to me it's quite a bit of the actually use utilize blending. So it's older algorithm everything it does work if you look on the new and we're going back to like live beta okay this is more even on the images render look to me they will utilize um, a clip or the diffusion some different techniques a little bit and it does produce a little bit different uh, kind of result but it's very similar to this so again if we're going to the portraits and oh look animation by the way my next videos will be about uh, creating animations in the art breather so it, here we'll look a little bit closer on this but right there we can look on and same we have it uploads we can go select our upload uh, you know what let's go with these guys and right here you can see it's upload just in red portraits not necessarily all figures that is different and we can also modify somewhat similar to well look that is funny it's add mustache by itself I told, I told you everyone is just dreaming to have a mustache okay so we we'll also can have it all options a little bit utilize different algorithm but it's still very similar uh somewhat blending kind of effect what we have before okay let's go ahead right now we're going to uh night cafe and the reason is i like night cafe because if we look here let's go open is a my collection create it's utilize this different algorithms which actually i think huge benefit you can play around with a lot you have a stable diffusion here you'll have a coherent or a clip based you have to work on uh vg again uh, similar what um dali kind of i think it's clip or dali use it and different stylizations and of course the big plus it is free credits if you sign up with night cafe every day you can add five more credits and after time you will have 176 credits so i will it's have it <laughs> even i use it them a lot okay so let's go right here we have a two image um and by the way if you on this field you just don't see anything it's because you probably in a basic mode you want to go on top and says show advanced options let's click on advanced options and this we have our uh, text but below it's what we interested in start with image and remember that step what we want to do we don't want to worry about try multiples because we can upload more than one image here which is very nice we can render colors and a pose and so on this but we'll go to click and you can notice i already preloaded some images we're going to select one of this there's our preview our image you can also create mask and creating mask it's mean you can say which area you want to affect so this is not masking because if you're in photoshop you're masking area that you don't want to affect here is your masking area that you want to affect similar actually with a dali when you go there and you can erase area where you want to regenerate so we um could create mask but you can see right here i already pre-created so i can create just select one mask and it will apply as well 
And this is experimental and it's not necessarily work, but you can see black now. It is black areas, it's where it's going to affect. The reason is why nice about this, we can preserve just face itself if you don't want it to affect too much. Well, you know what, let's remove right now mask and just go there and we'll just go Barocco. 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 Let's go just with those styles. I think those styles will just work fine. Um, we want to keep it same aspect ratio. Just one image will work for images. And let's go for two creases. It's much easier this way. Sampling method. Don't worry about this. Okay, this is all different libraries to reference. Just leave it K Calamus. It's uh, fine. And we'll just use it two thumbnails or low resolution thumbnails. We'll find for this. And let's go click create it. Um, as creating, we can preview a couple other things I already done before this. So right here, this is done with um, masking and it was done with a cyberpunk, neon punk. I just wonder how it will go with style. It is just replacing on the back and masking is not necessarily work very great. Again, it is experimental. It's what they said, but it, because experimental is not necessarily work. And let's go look on our views and there is our person. It does have it Baroco Rococo. It does reference to the colors what I have at the image, but different from if you remember from Discord uh, from the mid journey. This is, does not recognize person. It does not recognize if it was actual portrait of somebody. It just uh, recognized take only colors take some little bit of the twisty, but I think twisty has come from me, specify Barocco Rococo. It's about, actually it's a Barocco um, style, but it is surprising it does not actually work very well in this case. So it does not have options. Okay, let's go create. This is another best things because you can always say, hey, if it does not work with this, let's try Barocco and let's just put portrait. So we'll see if that is will fixing. So I'll go start image and oh, you know what? Let's do something different. We'll do this. Emily. Halloween. Okay, there you go. So we'll do this one, one image, Adam's family Halloween. We'll just leave it as same. We'll go with a, let's go a thumbnail and I want four images. Where's my four images? Accuracy boost, so I don't see right here for some reason. Okay, th well, that will work. Okay, let's go ahead, click to create, and it will take a little bit time. Oh, because we're in different algorithms. There you go. So it will take a little bit time to generate. Until it's creating this one, we'll go back and maybe try the logon. And this is, again, this is huge things I like about the night cafe it's all these different algorithms so you can try them mid journey does provide for you some changes and you can do this with the type settings okay and in the settings you can see right here we have it version one two three and we have it other ones so you can set this way or you can also just uh, in a command line dash dash and type what version you want it like test three S3 and so on. You can right here, you can see this is says version three. We can say dash dash V21. You can try all these different things, but they are not so intuitive and explain it kind of keeping us inside the night cafe. So right here we done, let's go try um, cosplay. Maybe actually, you know what futuristic, let's go futuristic. Futuristic, we'll go choose image and then we'll just check different image this time okay i think this is about right thumbnails all that stuff let's go create okay let's preview what whoa okay that is um truly halloween she's scary okay so it does recognize two people it does do all the stuff but it's kind of based on this but not working very well what I found actually same like with futuristic, if we look right here, it did some abstract art and everything. But again, that algorithm will need it more description. So when we're done with the um, log and other ones, you actually describe more and image will use it 
not as precise in some cases so it have it need room to play it overall okay and we have some other ones like stable diffusion here and in stable diffusion it will be very similar what we created before um, this specifically it's used dream studio ai it is from original creator of stable diffusion i have it kind of like this beta um, interface so and right here we can also have it go ahead upload our image to start so let's go create select our image and we'll go with our image that we have before well three likely performance issues which is kind of okay i think so let's go try image string let's go to 99 again this is will be that parameter as we specify and we'll go dream barocco rococo so we'll just put it styles right there um i think that is all what we needed and i did not i have just default small size for the width height scale steps it's how many reviews so we'll just have a very very basic look on this okay and it's still playing okay and you'll notice it is black okay so uh, probably our size was a little bit too big let's go to change our image okay i'm sorry i need to extend to preview i'll go clear image let's go to upload it and we'll go just take much smaller size and this one is about 900 700 kilobytes so it's not that big can rocco barocco so we have all that stuff let's preview we don't need it clip anything we're fine here positioning okay and so we try with dream studio and there's our result black square i think it's a little beautiful um no flaws in the black and i tried before a few times with exactly the same result so i think there may be in a beta still working in some effect because it is a beta version of dream studio but just let you know you can still do this uh, on stable diffusion by yourself but you probably want to run stable diffusion on your own um, server or kind of like in this case i'm using the google collab so you can run some there there and this is more complex than average kind of you know i sometimes i like it and i use it i use a disk diffusion and i use a stable diffusion same way to the collab but problem is it's taking a bit more time it's not as polished and uh, my approach as an artist you know when you need to spend so much time on tweaking with numbers your creativity is gone i don't know if maybe you guys have the same effect or not as i do but i like to work i like not to spend my time on a tweaking when i work with art it doesn't mean i'm geek i'm programmer by daytime so i'm doing all this programming stuff and everything and i love to tweak with numbers but it is two different things for me and sometimes when you spend time with all these adjustments you get exa exhausted but you can still do this you can still do with stable diffusion uploaded images same as a disco diffusion with a collab and do this way or used on yours so overall overview so far i found the disco um the mid journey for me i think this is produce most interesting result and i like to play with disk diffusion dali have their own pluses and minuses as i said before you can go ahead and work with a set extensions so you can actually expand images you know this is actually work very well with upload images it's the strings of the dali um art breather definitely you can play more with the faces you saw how it's fun to do with the gender with adjustments and everything same with the landscape so they all have their own benefits and of course the night cafe creation with all of these different type of algorithms you can play around this is great great way to learn to see how they work and everything hope you find this video is useful and um, give you some provided information what you can do i'm going to more play around with of course inside the mid journey creation and you like this video and enjoying please give a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and put notifications so you'll have more information when new videos will be released and i greatly appreciate all your support please also help me share this video around 
uh, let it get popular let more people watch this again I'm I'll be personal I'm honest I will benefit from more people watching this it and it's also encouraging for me to create and do spend more time to research and find some better answers for you and hopefully your creativity and everything will grow with this as well again thank you for your support and have a fun time